Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Everything good. How is work doing? Are you going to work? Or are yes. You... No, I I I was work work in, I in my house. Worked, yes. I worked in my from house. Home. You work from home. Oh, yes. I'm what home. type of job are you doing? Uh, what time? No, what type? Oh, um, planification. Uh, the all planning. The all organization. Uh huh. Um. Sorry, I can I can hear well. <laughs> All right, no, that's fine. So you were working on planning. Yes. Sergio, how are you this evening? I'm fine. And you? Doing great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hi. Welcome. Everything good? Thank you. I'm fine. Great. Okay, we're going to continue working and uh, no more comparatives and superlatives. So we're kind of done with that. So we're going to change topics in a way. Okay. Um, let's read this. I think we already did this, but let's see. Read the objective, please, Jackie. Okay. In this session, you will learn to pronounce pronounce Pr pronounce in order pronounce in order to sound natural when asking question of choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's listen up. What do you think questions of choice are? Do you have any idea? What WH word do you use when you want to ask for questions? Uh, I mean, for options or choices. Um, Let's listen. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise 3 again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Then practice. Okay, I'm going to play it. After I pause it, please repeat, okay? okay? The questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Okay, let's do number one. Um, Sergio, try number one. Is bigger. Bangkok or Beirut? So remember it goes down, okay? What city, what, which city is bigger? It's Bangkok or city? Beirut? Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Or Beirut. Because it goes down, all right? So which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Say it again. I see, I see bigger city. No, no, no. no the, the, the emphasis right now, Sergio, is the intonation, okay? Not, not the answer itself. All right, mm -hmm. everybody repeat after me. Ready? Okay. okay. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which city is bigger, is bigger Bangkok or Beirut? Bangkok or Beirut. Or Beirut. Or Beirut, no, Beirut. Beirut. Uh-huh, okay. Yes. 
uh, at the end of the question, guys, we're gonna drop the intonation, all right? Not Beirut, not Beirut. <clears throat> Beirut. Yes, another one. Uh, which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Which country which is, country the is most most interesting? Most interesting? Korea, Korea Brazil, 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 or, or Greece? Greece. Or Greece. Uh -huh. Okay, that sounded better. We're going to practice with some more statements, okay? Okay. Tell me three drinks, guys. Wine. Mm -hmm. Wine. <laughs> what else? Which? Soda. Which subject did you study? You can do this with a lot of options, right? Wine, soda, or water. Juice. Or water. Okay. Which subject did you study? Which subject did you study? Tell me three subjects, guys. Mm -hmm. English, math, all right. Tell me three subjects. Geography. Design. Mm -hmm. Okay, science. Math. Math. Words. English. 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 Okay, listen to the rhythm, all right? Which drink do you like? Wine, soda, or water? Okay, let's do it. Repeat after me. Which drink do you like? Wine, soda, or water? Which drink do you like? Which drink do you like? Which drink do you like? Wine, soda, or water? Which drink do you like? Water. Wine, soda, or water? Okay, number two. All right, but so let, me, let me finish the question first and then repeat, okay? Which subject okay. did you study? Science, math, so or English? Which subject did you study? Science, math, or English? Or English. All right. so or English? No, or English. English. Or English. English. Yes. Or English. Is that clear? Yes. All right. Yes. It's the music of it, okay? It's follow the rhythm. Okay, then let's move on. Read the following objective, please, Leo. In this conversation, the use of questions with how will be introduced by asking about distance and measure, measurements. And measurements. Measurement. Measurement. Yes, measurement. I, know, I know some people were asking about this exercise today and I didn't send the reply because we're gonna do it right now. So once we finish, Please let's take a screenshot and send it to, to the group, okay? Because I think I think somebody was asking. So we're gonna do that today. Tonight, I mean. Okay, let's watch, please. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Did you get it? That's right. They're talking about distance and measurements using the question word how.
Okay, let's practice the dialogue. I'm going to Australia next year. I'm, I'm going, going to Australia, Australia, next, Australia year. next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Are you from Are Australia? You from Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Actually, I'm from, Actually, New, Zealand. I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, oh I, I didn't, didn't know that. that. Know that. that. So I what's it like there? Know. Know what like is it's like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Oh, oh, it's it has it lots has of farms and it is very mountain. mountainous. 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 We're here, very mountainous. 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 Where are the mountains? Really? How high are the mountains? How high are the mountains? Right. Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. Well, well the highest one, one is, is Mount Cook. Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. It's about, about 3,080 3, meters, meters, meters high. high. Hmm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Hmm, mm. how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, well in Auckland, Auckland, and Auckland, Auckland is Auckland. about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe kilometers. I should visit you next year, too. Well, maybe well, I should maybe visit, I should visit, visit you, you next year. year. Next year, too. Okay, uh, are there well, any, any words you have questions well, about? Um, no, I don't have a question. Everything is clear, are you sure? All the vocabulary is yeah. good? Okay, let's practice the pronunciation. Only the pronunciation, no modifying this time, okay? In pairs. Ready? Okay. It's practice time. So here we go. Let me see. Okay, accept the invitation, please, and let's practice. Here we go. Hi, Orlando. Hi. Tiene la, la captura por ahí. No. No, no la tengo. Um, checking the WhatsApp group. Maybe there is the picture right now. Yes. Yes. There. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So that that's what it is yours. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it is very mountainous. mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Uh, well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? 
Well, I live in Oakland, and Oakland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay. Carlos, Hola. it's your turn. Okay. Uh, you're stuck um, okay. I'm going to Australia government. next year. Aren't you from Australia? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I think now that. So that it lies there. <clears throat> no, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farm. And it is very mountain. Really? Mo mountain nose. Really? Uh, how high are the mountain? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meter high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. In Auckland is about 2,000. I, I am going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, primero yo. Está bien. I am going. I I can. You guys practice? <laughs> Somebody's listening to that. I don't know. You practice? Everything good? Yes, teacher. All right. Practice. Algunas palabras cuesta pronunciarlas, por lo menos a mí me cuesta. What word? Tell me. Uh, well, the is his test out. Uh, Esa que dice arriba de 300 is home. Okay, no, no. Hi, I want you to play the audio. Is New Zealand from Australia? What word? Tell me what line. Maybe everybody has difficulty with it as well. Uh, which one? This one? Actually, that one? Actually. 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 Es la que dice uh, well the his nice. Well the highest one. It's the a most highest good. Well the highest, highest one. Okay, hey, hold on guys. You need to know that this is like this word is like high, like high. high. Okay. You oh, don't pronounce that okay. G. So in this case you say highest, like this high. Highest. Yes. Oh. Yes. Highest. 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 Okay. Highest. highest. Hi. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, um, let's see. So, what are the questions that they're using with how? There are questions with how. What are they? Have you identified them? How far is New Zealand? Okay, let's start writing them, okay? So, for example, how far, what else? We had how far, how, how high, what how else? High. Look at the how high, how far, how long, how long. No. Yes, how long, and no. this this is for distance. How long? This is for distance and time, guys. How oh, many? Time. How much? No, but in, in the dialogue. Let me see. How far? Okay. What else? How high? How high? How far? Oh, what's it like? Uh, it's not long. Only that. That's it, right? Okay. Let's see. We're gonna study that in a little bit. Let's see the questions. Okay. Pay attention, please. 
Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big? Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. It goes down to... Okay, let's read some of the questions. Repeat with me. How far? How far? How far? So, how far is New Zealand from Australia? How far, how far is New Zealand, New Zealand from, Australia? from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers. It's about, it's about 2,000 kilometers. How big is Singapore? How, how big, big is Singapore? Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers. It's 648 square kilometers. Uh -huh. uh, how high is Mount Cook? How high, high is, Mount, high is Mount, Mount, Cook. Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high. It's 3,740 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, meters high. Meters high. Great. <laughs> 3,740. Okay. How deep is the Grand Canyon? 3,740. How deep is the Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon. It's about a it's thousand about nine hundred meters deep. It's about one thousand nineteen hundred meters deep. Okay, how long is the Mississippi River? How long, how long is the Mississippi long River? Mississippi River. Mississippi River. It's about five thousand nine hundred seventy kilometers long. It's about, it's about five, 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 five thousand seven, 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 seven kilometers long. 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 Kilometers long. How hot is Auckland in the summer? How hot is Auckland, is Auckland in the summer? In the summer. In the summer. Uh, it gets up to twenty-three degrees Celsius. It gets. It gets up to yeah. about yeah. twenty-three yeah. degrees yeah. Celsius. 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 Yes. Okay. How cold is it in the winter? How cold, How cold, cold is in the winter? Is. Cold is in the winter. It goes down to about ten degrees Celsius. 
is goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, very good. How cold and hot, hot. All right, let's notice some of them. Okay, for example, how, we're going to say how cold and how I how hot. Okay, you're going to say, how do you read? I don't know where to put the symbol. Okay. But you say, okay, you say degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Yeah. So you have to say, it goes up, goes up. to, or it goes, it goes, it goes down, down, down to. Uh -huh. so it goes up to, or it goes down to. Yes, talking about temperature, we're going to use this right now, okay? How cold or how hot? It goes up to 20 degrees Celsius, or it goes down to... Seven degrees Celsius, for example, That's like the minimum or maximum, right? Okay. All right. So about this, do you have any questions? We're right now. There's a question. Tell me. Tell me what it is. The square kilometers. What is? Kilometros cuadrados. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Because you have square, circle, right, triangle. Far? How far is New Zealand? Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, it is a comparative, no? No, uh, how far no. is New Zealand from, ¿qué tan lejos está New Zealand de Australia? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? So, it's practice time, and we're going to practice uh, these questions, all right? We're going to say, how far is... These are the questions we're going to practice. How far is La Paz from San Salvador? We're always doing it locally. Because it's important to know our details, all right? You're going to use Google, guys. We need to know how many square kilometers is El Salvador. Do you know? You don't know? No, I don't know. No, I don't know, teacher. Uh, 22,000 kilometers? 22,000. Yes, right? 22,000 yes. square kilometers? Okay. 22,000 kilometers. That's something we need to know, guys. <laughs> we have to know this about our country. We're going to say, how big is El Salvador? Yes. Can somebody do me a favor and take a screenshot of this, this part? Because I need you to answer the questions with this information and with this structure, okay? With the same numbers, same measurements, and the same high, deep, long at the end. I, need, I really need you to respect the structure when you practice, okay? So next question is, how big is El Salvador? Okay, next question is, how high is El Pital? El Pital Mountain. How high is El Pital? Okay, next one is, how long is the Lempa River? How long? You're going to have to use Google. All right. Another one. How hot is it in the summer? How hot is it in the summer, guys? It goes up to 33 degrees Celsius, right? Is that the maximum? 40 degrees. 40? Yes, almost. No way. In San Miguel or what? Yes, in San Miguel, 40. 40 degrees? 39 and 40. What? <laughs> yes. That's in unbearable. In it's a hot in San Michael City, 40. Wow. How cold is it in the winter? We don't have a real winter, but you know. And finally, how tall are you? 
And I'm going to add another one. How long does it take to get to a, a, how long does it take to get to San Miguel? I like that one. From El, from San Salvador. ¿Cuánto se toma en llegar a San Miguel desde San Salvador? Okay, how long? Tres horas. Time. About time. three hours. Three hours. How long is para largo y tiempo, okay, both. So how tall are you? All right. Could you take a screenshot of this, please? This is what we're going to practice. I would like you to answer the questions following the, the structure from the example. So we're studying social, social studies here, right? We're, yeah, what is it? Going back to school right now, <laughs> all of us. Okay, are you ready? Ready to answer the questions? Use Google. Ready. All right, find out, research, do some research to find the, the exact numbers. Okay, we're gonna work in groups of three. Uh -huh. Three, three, and three here. All right, accept the invitation, please. Según San Google. Oh, eh, the first is 59. Half four kilómetros. Uh -huh. En el de la paz. Uh -huh. Tomane. How long El Rio Lempa is the How long is the How long river? is the uh, Lempa River? It's about four hundred and twenty-two kilometers. Yes, it's about kilometers. Okay, four hundred twenty-two kilometers. How hot is in the summer? Four hundred twenty-two. Yeah, exactly. 
It's 4500. How hot, how hot is the summer? Summer, winter. So Michael, this is in the winter. Mm. It's about 20 uh, Celsius, degree Celsius. How tall, how tall are you? How tall are you? I, I am know. one that, uh, sir, uh, uh, 60, 67 meters. You say one, one, one that's 67 60. meters. 1.68 ah, point. meters. Yes. Why not that? It's only you really. <laughs> you are. That is only for the internet. Point is for numbers and, and oh, okay. period is for text. Point. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thanks. Yeah. And centimeters. And I, I, okay, I guess you finished. Yes, yes, we finished. Was it difficult? Okay, so little, how, little, little difficult. A little bit. Okay, how far is La Paz from San Salvador? 59.4 kilometers. Okay, are you following the model? Let me see. It's 59. Point. Our kilometers. Four kilometers like this. Okay, I don't hear you, Gabriel. Okay, how big is El Salvador, guys? It's a uh, twenty-one. square kilometers. Square kilometers. Very good. Ah, 21,000, isn't it? 22,000, okay. How high is El Pital? Mm. 2,000 seven years. Okay, 2,000? No, I don't think it's 2,000. 200? No. 200? No. Okay, help it's me, everyone. 2,000. Hundred. Uh, meters high. Meters. Meters. Yes. High. Meters high. Uh -huh. Son dos mil setecientos treinta decías en Google. Okay, so this ah, is... Ah, okay, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. How okay. high is El Pital again? 2,000... 700 meters. 70... 70... 70... 70... 70... 70... 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730. 730
meters long, right? Kilometers. Long. Meters kilometers long. long. Kilometers long. Yes, make sure you say long at the end. Kilometers like long. high, long, okay. How high is, okay. is it in the summer? His, His, uh, you have to say the goes, support, the, it goes, goes, up, goes up, up, up to goes 40 to degree Celsius. To 38? 40. 40. 40. 40. Degree, degree Celsius. Yeah, no, centígrado. Yeah. Uh -huh. Celsius. Uh -huh. Okay, how cold is it in the winter? It's it's going down, it's going down it's to down. 20 degrees down. Celsius. Okay, and how much is it in the summer? Yeah. Summer. Yeah. Summer. Summer. Yeah. Summer. Okay, how tall are you? Well, that is personal. How long does it take to get to San Miguel? It takes three hours. About three hours. It takes about three hours. Takes about three hours. All right. That was great, thank you. You did a good job. Okay, now let's practice the questions. Okay, I think it's clear. Is it clear now? Yes. I'm 5.3 feet tall. 5.4 feet tall. All right, questions here. We're gonna work on the questions, all right? Uh, who finished this part? Who has completed this? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Um. What is the first question, guys? Oh, hi. Oh, hi is Angel. Is Angel Fall. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Is Angel Fall. Is Angel Falls. Okay. Oh. Everybody go to this section on the platform, all right? 4.13, everybody. How high is Angel's fall? Let's see if that works. Number two. How, how, big, how, big, is is how, how big is California? Okay, I'm gonna ask a person in specific, okay? Uh, Ricardo, number three. How long? Um, Ricardo, Ricardo. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. No, I want to make How sure long? everybody understands. O Orlando. How long? Ricardo. How long is the Nile? How long is the Nile? Okay, let's see if that works. Oh, I'm not using question marks. Maybe I should add that. Okay. Yeah. Who is that? Okay, eh, Efrain, number four. How, how, how is Washington DC? Washington DC. How tall? How, how cold? Hot, hot, hot. How cold is hot? Hot, hot, hot. How hot? 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 hot, hot, hot. hot. Washington DC. Make sure okay. guys that you're using the correct punctuation, okay? Look, comma, period, period. Question no. mark. Maybe that should be right. In okay. the summer. La oh coma, my gosh. Time. Ah, in the Hasta summer. Okay. Coma. DC. In the summer. 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 Let me see. Now, how hot is Washington, D.C. Falta la coma. Después de D.C. Después de la C. D.C. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Falta la coma después de D.C. Después del punto. Después del punto va una coma. Ahí va la coma. Ahí. Ahí. Ah, pero es un error. No debería ir esa coma, ok. Ok, does everybody have the answers? La voy a copiar y pegar porque sé que van a estar preguntando. Yes. <laughs> y esa coma. 
Porque I finished. Cuesta, ¿Se puede pegar la página antes. Ah, es, esa, esa, esa. La borró. No, 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 la borré, ya será. Ya termina. Pero... Toda la respuesta es que, que hay que colocar en ese, en ese tipo de formato, este, cuesta. Yeah. Como, como, como la plataforma muy amigable da bastante esa plataforma. Ay, a veces bien. por una comita o un punto o una letra que vaya en mayúscula ya no la pasa. Sí. Yo sé, yo sé. ¿Qué tiene que ver eso con ahí? Digo yo al final nada. <risa> what it is, what it is. Ok. Alguien le puede... Ok. What section is this? Four. 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 Okay. Y la anterior a esa la borró, teacher. No, no. Ah, ¿dónde estaba mi bueno. Somebody please take a screenshot of this and send it to the group. So, so we have the answers for anybody who asks. Okay, and the nota, this is what you wanted. Esa. Uh -huh. Enviar, por. Uh. Yeah. Can somebody take a screenshot of this, please? Ah, ok, ok. Gracias. There it is. Nobody? Who sent it? Charlie? Oh. Yeah, Charlie sent it. Charlie, can you send this one, please? I don't okay. see it. All right. Great, thank you guys. Sorry. Let's see. Um, maybe we can do one more thing before we go. Is this topic clear? Yeah. Yes. Better now that you practice, right? I hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start in section five because next week we're going to finish this section and on top of that we're going to do the final exam. All right. And we'll be done. So number five, read the objective, please. Leo. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between two people makes plans, making plans. Future with present continuous are we going to are we going to are introduce are going to be introduced ah uh, uh, and be going to are introduced okay and be going to are introduce 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 yes okay Um, let's watch the video. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. You may listen to the conversation as making plans. Okay, where can you see going to in the conversation? I'm going to, I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. You don't, you don't. But there is another one. Look at this. What are you what are you doing tonight? What are you doing? What are you doing tonight? Yeah, there's not going to, but it is present continuous to. for for future. Okay, look at this. 
Yeah, we're gonna study that on Monday, but I'm gonna give a brief introduction to it. So it's like I'm studying. There is a difference between uh, these these two things, right? Look. Studying right now. Right studying, now right. versus I'm studying, studying tomorrow. Okay, which one is present continuous and which one is which one is for the present and which one is for the future, guys? The present continuous is tomorrow. Studying right now. Studying right now. The present continuous. And this is future. future. Okay. Future. If you notice, future. what is the difference? How do you know that this is for the future? Right now and tomorrow. Because of that the, is the difference. That is the only expression. difference. So that means, okay, that the right topic now. you learned in the, in the past. Okay, in the past, guys, you learned present continuous, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But that means yeah. that present continuous can be used for the present and it can also be used for the future, depending on the expression that's the only mm. difference did you know that okay did you know mm. that yes i mean and that you can use it for no. okay see me yes you did okay great so let's see uh, let's identify present continuous for the future and going to in the conversation so one of them is what are you doing tonight Okay, I'm going are to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Uh -huh. Are you doing continue? anything tomorrow? I'm going, going to work. I'm going to soccer. I'm going to work. Very good. I'm going to work. What else? That's it, right? I'm going to soccer. Where I'm Where I'm sick. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, that is the future. We're going to practice this dialogue on Monday, all right? Any questions? No. Mm, no. Nope, are you sure? Okay. No yet. <laughs> okay, so um, that's it then. Thank you for being in class. Stay safe, you. please. Wash your hands, right? <laughs> Don't go out. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Be safe. Hey, I want to. I want to see you in the future in classes. So please be cautious. <laughs> <laughs> you, All right. teacher. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I hope teacher. Okay. 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 Thank you, guys. Have a good night and a good weekend. Good night. Okay. okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.